Good morning my dear students welcome to Arario my name is Anjana so let's begin with the first chapter of social science of class 8 the early human life so before starting this chapter let me ask you one question what are the basic needs of a human the shelter food clothes and water are the basic needs of a human today we are leading a modern lifestyle with all such facilities we are we have beautiful houses uh, nice clothes and uh, plenty of food to eat so uh, in this chapter we are going to discuss about the life of early men do you ever think how would be the life of early men so they lived in caves why they lived in caves in order to escape from the attack of wild animals and also from the natural calamities and they wrap animal skin as well as the bark as the clothes and they hunted animals for food so in this chapter we are going to learn about the lifestyle of human early men and uh, their lifestyle the clothes they use the types of weapons they used and the hunting techniques and cave paintings so mainly this chapter is classified into four first one is paleolithic age second one is mesolithic age third one is neolithic age and the final one is chalcolithic age first topic is paleolithic age this age is otherwise known as stone age and the second topic is mesolithic age third one is neolithic age and the final one is chalcolithic age otherwise bronze age so let's begin with the first topic of paleolithic age in early days people lived in forest so they were attacked by the wild animals so in order to escape from the attack of wild animals and also from the natural calamities they lived in caves and they used the hide and bark as the clothes so why they use this hide and bark because they hunted animals for uh, food as well as for the clothes so they wrap animal skin as well as the bark leaves etc as the clothes and they used rough stones for hunting so uh, they uh, widely engaged in hunting so not only for food but also for the clothes okay let's see what are the points they lived in caves they wrap animal skin and bark as the clothes they hunted animals for food and they used rough stones for hunting lots of cave paintings are drawn by these paleolithic men and several such cave paintings can be seen on the different part of the world around 10000 years back okay let's see what are the features of these uh cave paintings they mostly use the pictures of animals and the pictures of hunting so it is the evidence for they planning for the hunting ground as well as the prey and they use the paints in colors for painting so in the picture of bison we can see that they used colors so how they made these colors today we have lots of colors sketch pen crayons uh, fabric paint acrylic etc so at that period how they made these colors they prepare the colors from the plant extract as well as from the laterite powder laterite powder means stone powder in the textbook we can see the picture of group dance the picture of hunting the picture of boar and bison the uh, picture of group dance is in bimbetka which is in madhya pradesh it is an important paleolithic site in india and the picture of hunting is also in bimbetka and the picture of boar which is in altamira in spain and the fourth picture is of bison which is in france so in the picture of bison we can see uh, they they used colors so how they made these colors they prepared the colors from the plant extra extract as well as from the laterite powder laterite powder means stone powder and let's see what are the features of this cave paintings they drew the pictures of animals 
and they drew the pictures of handi they used colors so the picture of animals as well as the picture of hunting show the evidence of their planning for a hunting ground as well as the prey okay and these people have close contact with animals they observe the movement of the animals they have close contact with and they observe the movement of animals Let's see what are the features of these cave paintings. They drew the pictures of animals as well as the pictures of hunting. So it is the evidence for the planning of the hunting ground as well as the prey. And they used colors. So how they made these colors? Uh, they made these colors from the plant extract as well as from the laterite powder. Laterite powder means the uh, soil powder or the stone powder. And they uh, are close contact with these animals. So they observe the movement of the animals. So from the picture of boar and bison, we can see that they have close contact with the animals and also they observe the movement of the animals. Okay. And the uh, another one is they use the animal fat as a fuel for lighting inside the caves. So uh, we all know that inside the caves there is insufficient of sunlight. So they used animal, animal uh, fat as a fuel inside the caves. Okay. Not only the pictures of boar and bison, they drew the pictures of deer, lion, leopard, hyena, etc. in different caves. And also, they drew the pictures on the ceiling of the caves as well. So, this shows the evidence or this is the evidence for the skill and efficiency of these Paleolithic men. And they are also called the age of hunters. So, why are they called as the age of hunters? Because they found their livelihood in hunting. So they hunted animals for food, clothes, so they are engaged in uh, hunting, so they are also called as the age of hunters. They engaged in different kind of activities. They, uh, the residues of cooked food, ashes, skulls and bones of animals, leftover fruits, vegetables and the uh, freshwater fishes were discovered from these caves. So. They used cooked food, that means they used fire. That was the greatest invention during the Paleolithic period. And there was no gender difference in hunting. They ate the uh, flesh of hunted animals as well as the carcasses. Carcasses means dead animals. So they ate the flesh of hunted animals as well as the carcasses and they collectively engaged in hunting. They hunted collectively and the stronger among them led the group. So we know that the leader should be stronger and uh, the stronger among them led the group. And they used stones as a weapon. Not only the stones, the ivory, bones, skulls, etc. as used as the weapons. So for hunting, they need weapons. So uh, stones, uh, bones, skulls, etc. were used as the weapons. And uh, the interesting one is they use the bones as a needle for sieving. We already said that they use the animal skin as well as the bark for uh, bark as the clothes. So they use these bones as a needle for uh, sieving. Now let's see the technological advancement of the early men. They made the stone statues. Human figures were molded out of clay and they uh, uh, vessels were woven out of the uh, bark fibers and paint, they drew pictures on the uh, horns and uh, bones of the animals as well as on the caves and rocks and they made ornaments using stones, shells, bones etc and flute like wind instruments were prepared using uh, bones. So let's see what are the technological advancements. They made stone statues, human figures were, human figures were molded out of clay, vessels were made using bark fibers, they drew pictures on caves, rocks, skulls and Bones of the animal. Ornaments were made using shells, bones,
stones etc and flute like instrument flute like wind instrument were made using using bones so they made stone statues human figures were molded out of clay so this is the evidence for the progress in the field of sculpture right they used or they made the vessels using bark fibers so they drew the pictures on the caves rocks skulls bones of the animals so these are the evidence for the progress in the field of painting and they made the ornaments using shells bones stones and they made the flute flute like wind instruments using bones so these are the uh, they attained the progress in the field of handicraft so the, in the field of sculpture in the field of painting as well as the handicraft that attain technological advancement now let's see what are the major paleolithic site the bimbekta which is in madhya pradesh is an important paleolithic site and it is famous for the rock shelters and nagarjunagonda and kurnool caves which is in andhra pradesh is an another paleolithic site and uh, narmada valley which is in uh, madhya pradesh gujarat and maharashtra is the another one and the hansgi which is in karnataka is also the major paleolithic site in india so major paleolithic site first one is bimbetka which is in maharashtra second one is kurnool caves and nagarjunagonda in andhra pradesh third one is hansgi which is in karnataka and fourth one is narmada caves narmada valley which is in madhya pradesh maharashtra gujarat so we discussed about the major paleolithic sites in india so in this chapter we discussed about the life of early men their lifestyle the weapons they used the hunting techniques and the cave paintings so from the cave paintings we get valuable information about the early men and these people are also called the age of hunters so they found their livelihood in hunting and the uh, technological advancement we learned the technological advancement of the early men and we learned about the major paleolithic sites in india hope you all understood my class so in the next session we will discuss the further topics in the early human life so if there is any doubt please comment me in the comment box and uh, for further videos and classes please subscribe our youtube channel thank you